that's uh, almost 7.40. Um, you know, something that I've been very aware of is that I don't listen... Shh. <laughs> I don't listen to enough... Um, to enough albums, jazz albums. I don't know that many players, except for the ones in Melbourne. I need to expand my horizons. Go back in time. So, and I think this has been on my mind for a long time, actually. And I've listened, obviously I've listened to jazz music, jazz drummers before, but not really, really listened and really observed and taken note who's in the band, what year did that um, album, was that album recorded and all that really important stuff, you know? Where are they all from? You know, I don't know. <laughs> and being someone who loves, I love improvising on the drums. I love playing swing. I love playing a lot of um, interesting odd time signatures. I love playing a lot of original music and standards as well. Working on my solos, but I working on liking soloing. And I can envision I can envision myself already being in a. I'm going to be great at soloing one day. Like, really good, right? I can see it in my head. Um, really confident. Have a heaps of different uh, cool things that I can whip out. Um, but how do I get to that stage? How do I get to that vision in my mind? And how do I develop that big, wide knowledge of, you know, sounds in my head? And I've got to listen to a lot of albums and I've got to study the greats. I've got to study the, um, you know, all the records. Um, and, you know, I listen to, I, I watch a lot of Dan Weiss's lessons and he constantly talks about, you know, all these amazing albums and he's just got so much um, knowledge about all these musicians. And, um, yeah, I just, I need to really start. Anyway, so what I was going to say is that in after today's rehearsal, I was like, ah, oh, because I spend a lot of time driving uh, to and from rehearsals. Like it's a an hour one way most of the time. So that's two hours of car trips and you can listen to a lot of music in two hours. So, and I haven't really been utilizing that time very well. So on the way, started listening to the Dave Holland, so how you say his name, Dave Holland Quintet. Uh, I believe it's from 19, this album, um, oh shit, what's the album called? Seeds of Time. <laughs> I looked up the drummer already, and it's amazing how my brain just like goes. So we got Dave Holland on bass, Steve Coleman on the saxophones, flute, Julian Priester, Priester on trombone, Kenny Wheeler on trumpets, uh, and then Mavi Smitty Smith on the drums and percussion, might I add. This album, the percussion in this album, so many amazing colors and textures and variety. Oh my God, I love it. Uh, love listening to it and so I had that I've had that repeat on repeat since I've um, since I came across it and then today after rehearsal I asked my teacher I said hey what's another album I can listen to you know just getting that getting those albums in my head and he suggested same band Dave Holland I think it's still a quintet but the album is called extensions and it is amazing Marvin Smith's drumming is fantastic. Uh, such a great feel and touch and the use of his cymbals, the sounds and the textures are just really, um, they're like silk. That's how I can, they feel like, yeah, 
I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> they sound like silk to me. Really nice and warm silk. Can you, is, can you even, is warm silk a thing? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so I am, uh, there we go. Getting back in there, focus. All right, good, good, good. Um, so I've been talking for a bit now. Anyway, you should practice now. Oh. All right, let's do it.